Memorial Day is around the corner. So if you're looking for a delicious recipe on potato salad, stay tuned to see how I get this one put together. potato salad we're going to start out with six to eight regular size potatoes and I cut them into quarter size pieces because I didn't want them too big and I didn't want them too small I washed my eggs with a little cool soapy water and then I rinsed them before I placed them in with my potatoes because I did not want the handling of other people's hands from the eggs to join in with the potato sap with the potatoes while I cooked so like I said I washed them with a little bit of cool soapy water and then I placed them I washed off my potatoes and you can see my water is really nice and clear I placed them inside of a pot and I brought my pot to a roaring boil for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to let them sit for 10 minutes in the salted hot water. This will bring the potatoes to a nice consistency and it will also allow the eggs to be removed from the shell without the shells sticking to the eggs. Um, I only used about a good two tablespoons of salt in this water and then the water is going to be rinsed off of the potatoes. A little cool water and I only rinsed them about two to three times and that was it and I let them sit to the side. The eggs were placed inside of cold water as you see here and that is going to finish cooling the eggs down as well before I start piecing this salad together. Now this potato salad is so delicious. My boys went crazy over it. I am currently pouring the potatoes out into a large bowl and this is what you want to do so that way you can mix your other ingredients. I'm just using my no salt all-purpose blend. I'm also going to use my vegetable and herb blend. Those are my two go-to's. I have smoked paprika. I'm using some yellow mustard. I'm going to use a little bit of celery seed because I didn't have any fresh celery. I'm also going to use some sweet relish, Hellman's mayonnaise, black pepper, salt, and I'm going to use a shallot, a whole shallot, and just about one to two tablespoons of sugar and that's optional i'll find out if i need to remove any or if i need to use more or less as i piece this recipe together now the first thing that i did was cut up my shallots and my shallots was finely finely diced because we don't like big large chunks of onion in our salad so shallots are very perfect you can see how small they are just enough to flavor this potato salad almost look like little tiny purple specks and then I also diced and cut up my eggs and placed it inside of a bowl next I'm going to add my sugar here this is just half the portion or about the two-thirds of it I didn't add all because the sweet relish is going to also add that little sweetness to this potato salad um, I like my potato salad with relish and a little sweetness not too much sweetness but just to balance off some of the savoriness I'm adding just a little pinch of salt and I'm also adding my black pepper which is a grind pepper and I'm going to add my um, herb blend which is a no salt herb blend and I'm also going to add my other spices now you can definitely make this recipe personalize it the way you like it these are just some of the spices and herbs that I use when I'm making my potato salad so I'm just adding approximately one to two teaspoons of each spice a little bit of smoked paprika because this potato salad is going to have so much good flavor in it and smoked paprika is one of my favorites that I like to use when I'm making different salads I'm just sprinkling a little bit of 
ses I mean celery seed and that was just about a half a teaspoon I'm going to squirt a little bit of mustard and that's about good two to three tablespoons or however you like um in your potato salad some people don't like mustard in their potato salad I did add my mayonnaise in there and that is it I'm going to fold this all together because I don't want to break down my potatoes until it becomes like mashed potatoes so using a spatula I did the over and flip method just kind of fold in everything and once you do that your potato salad is Done. I mean, this potato salad, like I said, was so delicious. It was so flavorful. I transferred it into my stainless steel bowl. And of course, before you finish any potato salad, you got to top it with a little bit of paprika. So I sprinkled on a little bit more of that smoked paprika. And it just gave it some really delicious flavor. And then, of course, it tasted even better the next day when all those flavors soaked through it. So, if this is a recipe you would like to try, please click like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Sometimes I even add a pinch of sour cream to it to give it that little extra flavor. But like I said, remember to click like, share, subscribe. Let me know if this is a recipe you would like to try. Leave a comment in the um, comment section below. And thank you for watching. God bless. Have a great and safe Memorial Day. And stay tuned for more videos.